Mishi is joining me, who is a U.S. citizen, uh, living here now for 18 years from Haiti. Uh, and uh, I wanted him to be here just, you know, because I, I can see how uh, appreciative uh, Mishi is of uh, the Frederick community doing whatever we can. Communities all over this country, all over this world are, uh, uh, you know, just... just Chip it in and help it out, and it's gotta it's gotta make you feel good when you, right. you see that type of uh, charity from mankind. That's correct, and uh, I like to know, and uh, everybody once again, uh, please, and uh, again, uh, please, and uh, whatever you do, stop what you're doing. Uh, if you could come in out and uh, to come and help us, I really appreciate it, and uh, it's very important, and uh, whatever, and uh, what you have in a uh, disaster in Haiti right now, and uh, this is. Uh, this is the problem, and, this is, and I believe it. Uh, uh, thanks, and everybody get hit, and we depend on uh, all Haiti, what's going on, disaster in Haiti. And I really appreciate it once again. Uh, please get out and uh, help us and uh, one each other. And uh, please, and, uh, when you help us and, uh, in Haiti, you will be having a uh, feeling and, uh, to be get better now. What happened in Haiti now? And you will, and, uh, you see that in TV now, these people is total in disaster. You know, I don't even I have in, uh, my family in Haiti. I don't see them for a long period of time. And, uh, and uh, I don't know where my brother is. And I, I have a lot of family over there. And uh, this is stop what's going on in Haiti. And uh, I have in, uh, one of them in a uh, U.S. citizen and in uh, United States and Frederick and uh, for a long time and uh, in 18 years and uh, please and come and help us. Uh, okay, well, it's a uh, fantastic event here today at the car wash. Uh, Frederick businesses have been fantastic and uh, a lot of folks have been coming out all day to get their car wash. It's a benefit uh, directly. Uh, every every penny collected here goes directly to the uh, National Red Cross for the Haitian relief effort. Um, in the last 48 hours, the National Red Cross has collected about $37 million for the relief effort, and uh, they have folks and supplies either on the ground or on the way right now. And it will be a, it'll be a long journey, but uh, we're, we're very happy, and the local citizens of Frederick should be very proud of their turnout here to, to assist. And if they want to help more after today, uh, the National Red Cross's uh, website is available, or you can mail checks to the local chapter, or you can use the local chapter website. So uh, any any of the three ways, uh, the Frederick County local chapter uh, website is Frederick County Red Cross, and the uh, national is the redcross.com. Well, well. People ask me why I did this fundraiser, and because people were thinking, why would you care about Haiti? Well, Mishi here, who's a friend of mine, That's right. he, he has no clue whether or not his family is dead or alive. That's right. Yeah. The U.S. citizen. Yes. Lewis here, who works with me at the cab company, has a brother and sister also, and no has no clue whether or not they're their life. So Haiti may be far away in our minds, but there's people right here in our community. And if our little fundraiser here today can help find out whether or not their family members are alive, to give them some ease, well, let me tell you something. It's worth anything in the world. So I can't imagine what these folks are going through trying to just communicate with family members and find out whether or not they're just even alive. I have two sisters and uh, two brothers in Haiti. And yeah, yeah, three Louis and uh, Lucien Louis and uh, my brother. His name is uh, Ogino Louis. They all living in Port of West, Haiti. And uh, I have nephews and uh, nieces. I don't even know what's going on. I don't I have no clue. Where are they right now? I try to make phone call too many times. I have no answer. So I call people to find out for me to, if they can call somebody to talk to them. Nobody called me back yet. Alright, that's a very big issue for me right now.